T4-thyroxine or levoxythyroid. It's a thyroid hormone. And I want to know what are the effects in bodybuilding. And I want to know what Coach Trevor's blood work reflects to prove what he believes the effects are for bodybuilding. Coach Trevor, you just got your blood work back, uh, by, and you were taking T4. Yeah. And what was the effect on your blood work, and what was um, the significance? So the effect, especially when compared to all my previous lab work, um, not taking any type of thyroid medication, uh, my T4 values were elevated and just enough to be flagged, and my T3 value was 0.1 away from being flagged as too high. And so what that means is I'm actually converting that T4 into the T3, even when you're on growth hormone, things that are lowering your values, which is why I always tell people when I do preps for most clients, I use T4 and T3 is for only certain applications I would do it and in different ways. But the T4, it'll keep your endogenous production at maximum. And that's all you want. You just want your endogenous pr production maximal and effective. And so by taking the T4, you don't have the same shutdown as you do with T3. And you don't have the negative implication when you come back off, come on and off, and you're metabolic, you know, doing this. You don't have that effect either. So when you come off, it gradually goes back to what it was producing normally. And what mine was usually normally was literally half of the number. So to be at the maximal range by taking T4, even when you take things that decrease your thyroid, um, it's very effective. And that's why I always use it in my athletes. And now we have an additional blood work to show when people say it's useless. Here's a good way to explain it, relating it to a testosterone booster versus steroids. So T3 is like steroids. You take it, your actual natural so production will shut down, and you take too much and you get side effects. In the case of T3, you take too much and you lose muscle. Like you could lose a lot of muscle really fast. So the game that bodybuilders play is they t try to take the highest dose of T3 they can take to burn the most amount of fat without losing muscle. But it's hard because they can overshoot it and lose a lot of muscle, or they can undershoot it and then it's not as effective as it could be. So what T4 is, it's almost like uh, like the growth hormone pills, the MK677, the Secretagogue, or a testosterone booster. It gets your natural T3 levels to the very top of the range, so you're burning as much fat as possible, but not so much that you're going to burn muscle. So is T3 more effective at burning fat? Yeah, but there also comes with the risk of shutting down your natural production, usually just for a very short period of time, and also muscle loss. So why Coach Trevor has his athletes take T4 is because he knows it will help them burn a lot more fat, keep their metabolism up, offset the, the, the drop in thyroid hormones that's caused from things like trend and growth hormone without causing them to lose any muscle. You just, yeah, that's exactly it. You, you just want your body functioning out, you know, as best as it can in every department while you're taking all these other things. You know, certain hormones drop other hormones. And if you have to take uh, a different hormone just to combat it, and now you're playing with fire and you can get results that you necessarily don't want or too much of a result. And what happens, like you said, with the T3, it comes down to a half-life and a timing issue, and you're taking the actual hormone. So you're going to get these ups and downs, and you're not going to be able to control that. You're going to see your physique doing this up and down with it. Yeah. And the T4 is going to keep you at maximal while you're taking all these other things without shutting it off. Um, the only downside to T4 is people that do have the problem converting the T4 through that process into T3. Some people actually have a, a genetic problem with that or a disease that keeps them from doing that. And when that's the case, they actually have to take the T3. So that's the only time I would say T4 is useless. So uh, sorry, Matt Ogus, we ran out of time for you, but next time we'll get you on. Be swell and swole, my friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution. Yeah, hunting on my bed, texting with the bill. Roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year. Fronting with the cash, it's getting moody over here. Hunting on my bed. Texting with the bill, roses in my wallet, and I'm flexing.